QuickBooks Online 2024, Jobs, Subcustomers, and Projects. Get ready and some coffee because we're getting the business on target with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars 2024 QuickBooks Online sample company file we set up in a prior presentation. Opening up the major financial statement reports like we do every time. The reports on the left hand side within the favorites. We're right clicking on that balance sheet to open link in new tab. Right clicking on the profit and loss to open link in new tab. Right clicking on the trial balance to open a link in a new tab. Let's go to that tab to the right. Close up the hamburger and change that range. We're going from 010124 tab, 013124 tab. We will run it to refresh it, tab into the middle, repeating the process, closing the hamburger, changing the range, 010124 tab, 013124 tab, once again, refreshing the report, tab into the right, it's like an assembly line process here, once again, closing the hamburger, and changing the range, 010124 tab, 013124 tab, and we will run it to refresh it, Let's go back to the first tab. This time, we're going to be taking a look at the concept of uh, sub-customers or jobs. We can also look at the projects. Now, I'm going to give a little bit of history about these items because uh, they sometimes serve a similar purpose, although they have difference in their usage. And you might be able to use multiple of these items together, or it could be possible that newer features have taken over the older features. So usually these are types of things that will be used when you have a job cost type of system. When you have a job cost type of system, you typically want to be tracking things uh, by the project that you're on. A typical job cost system would be like a construction company type of thing. So if you have a construction company and you're dealing with accounts receivable is usually the balance sheet account we deal with with customers. We, we might have a particular customer, but instead of doing like a short job and then simply billing them when it's done, we have a longer uh, type of job and we have then the necess necessity to be tracking the information that's going to be assigned to that job and so on and so forth. Now note, this can also be something that's common in service businesses as well. So even if like if you're a bookkeeper or if you look, work at an accounting, a CPA firm or a law firm, they have similar types of things because for example, a law firm, you can imagine they take on a project and it could be a project that they don't know how long it's going to take and the legal system being what it is, it could be a long uh, project. And so you want to be tracking you know, the costs of a particular project, possibly not simply by client, but by project. If you have certain clients, you can imagine certain big name legal issues these days, they probably have multiple cases <laughs> that are happening for one particular client at any given time, possibly, if you've got a big name uh, kind of client. So we need to track not only by client, but by job. So let's let's go back to the first tab. Now, the, the places where these are located is we have our customers, we recall, under the sales tab or what I would call like the customer center. And here are our customers. So we've got our customers here. Now, we could create what QuickBooks Online calls sub-customers, which would mean that we're, which would mean that we have a customer that's linked to or would be uh, subordinate to this customer, and, and we'll show how to do that shortly. Noting that this sub-customer thing was basically pulled over from the old version, what used to be used as well on the desktop version, where they used to call them jobs. So notice that when we talk about accounting terminology we might use these terms a little bit differently because, because when you're talking about jobs from a job cost a system, like a percentage of completion system or something like that, then you're probably going to just use the general term jobs. But if when you get into the QuickBooks world, then it gets a little bit more defined again because they used to be called jobs when they were in the desktop version. When they moved into the online version, now they call them sub-customers. So although we'll be using a job cost system when we're typically considering the use of sub-customers or projects, we don't really use the term job anymore for the actual location of the item because we would call them 
subcustomers if we used that method, or we can use the new tool, which oftentimes will take over a lot of the functionality that might have been done before with the subcustomers, which are the projects. So if projects are something that you need to be working on, if you have a job cost system, then that might be one reason that you need to kind of level up your account. You might not be able to go uh, too far below kind of the standard account. This is not in the advanced QuickBooks Online, but you, not, you might need the, the QuickBooks Online Plus or the standard version in order to get access to the projects. So the projects are similar to the sub customer, but it's the newer and most latest type of thing, which has a little bit more capacity to track things individually by the jobs because it has their own little home over here. However, the, the, the projects can be tied to the customers. So you, we still think of the projects as in essence being linked to the customers. So they're kind of like a more a powerful possibly version of the, what used to be the jobs, which are now called uh, the sub customers. However, you can also use these two things together. So you might say, well, if I have the projects, I would not use the jobs anymore. That might not be the case because for example, you might have one client that has multiple sub jobs and you might want like different billing addresses for the different jobs possibly. So in that case, you might still create a sub customer, which would be like the old job thing. Uh, and then you can assign a project to the sub customer, which would still be linked to the ultimate customer, but have like a different billing address. So that's how you might layer these things. So the general rule uh, would be, well, on the sales tab, if you're thinking about a job cost type of system, then uh, you're probably, if you have the latest version of QuickBooks Online, you're probably thinking to use the projects because it's the latest and greatest thing, possibly in conjunction with the jobs. 